Hello Trevor, Albert here at Truscott. Um, obviously just sending this video over to you on a brand new Peugeot 208. Uh, this particular model is the GT that we've offered to you. Um, basically the front end of the vehicle has got the full LED lights and you can see that the daylight running lights are the lion's tooth as well as the lion's LED claws. Um, but these are full LED headlights with smart beam assistance. Down here is a radar, there's a camera in the windscreen, and these are the ADAS systems on this car. Advanced driver assistance systems, fully loaded, lane keeping technologies, which Plymouth to X is going to be great uh, advantage. Um, stopping you from hitting the car in front, automatic emergency braking systems. Also from the camera, you're going to get smart sign recognition as well. So if it's a speed limit of 16, it's suddenly 30, the car will tell you. Uh, all of these things just obviously from a safety point of view, great to have, all right? Just very quickly, can I get you to look at a side profile of a 208 over here? Now at the moment, I'm showing you them in the Faro yellow, which is a metallic yellow, but you can see on a GT line, Trevor, you've got the black gloss mirrors, diamond cut alloys and the black arches, and also there's the black roof and the black spoiler to the rear uh, with the privacy bar. So it does look fantastic. There's, that is a free paint option. Um, but I just wanted you to take a side view because we're in a bit cramped space around uh, this forecourt at the moment. I'm now just going to come around and get inside the vehicle and Richard's going to film me just so I can show you some of the interior features. Okay, so what have we got? This is the GT model. So you can see here, beautifully crafted leather effect. Uh, bucket style seats, extremely comfortable, very stylish, lime green stitch, matching with the dash as well. Um, all new Peugeots today now feature what's much written about in the industry is the Peugeot 3D Digital Eye cockpit. So you've got this compact sports steering wheel in the GT model, you've got the lovely GT badging, the perforated steering wheel, it's soft napper leather. And over the top just here, I don't know if Richard can just see, you've got the 3D digital dash and you've got the 10 inch screen here. So when you're driving, if you just want volume, everything's on the fingertip here. If I want to change my radio station, it's as easy as that. All right. Um, and what we've actually got on the screen is a three dimensional cockpit. So you've got the digital speed reading in the middle, Rev counter on one side, speedometer on the other, the range for your fuel and your temperature on the side. Then you've got the 10 inch capacitor screen here, and here's your music, here's your ventilation, etc. But a quick route when you're driving is, the, it's an instinctive cockpit. That is what iCockpit is. Three fingers on the screen, and you can see I can just go straight to radio. Three fingers, straight to navigation. So it's very safe, I don't have to think about it. Once you've got a destination on the navigation in the system, if you're using it, you can actually, from a safety point of view, move that through the eye cockpit and you can actually put the navigation right under your nose. So you've now got what you see there, I've got in 3D here. Um, so again, from a safety point of view, the speedo, speedometer, the speed I'm doing with the camera, it's telling me what the speed limits are and the navigation. So it's very easy. Um, and easy on the eye and it's very designed for safety basically. Um, with the GT frameless mirrors, rear view mirror here, so a premium finish. There's no switches look, it's just soft sensory touches on the glass, lights above, charging plate for your phone, um, and just look at the style. Um, one little touch I will just finish on because there's so much more I can show you in this car. If I go to vehicle here and I go to vehicle settings, if I go to comfort, mood lighting mentioned this on the phone to you trevor you can see at the moment because it's daylight but you can just see a green neon light but you can go to pink you can go to red and it really does deliver a really nice sensory feel in the car at night uh, when you're driving it just gives it a beautiful finish um, this is an automatic version obviously we're talking about the manual version but if i can just show you the reversing camera you can actually see which direction you're going it's a beautiful reversing camera but this is very advanced technology where you've got the top down plan view of the car so when you start to reverse and the chevrons disappear you can physically see curbs 
you can see cars behind you, you can get into really tight spaces, so it's a great visual aid on that side of things as well. Um, okay, automatic handbrake. Um, yeah, I think that's as much as I can show you inside. I think if I just quickly jump out, we'll show you the boot. Um, and as you can see, just a lovely finish to the back with the black spoiler, the inlaid black gloss uh, piano system here with the integral light. And as you can see, these are full LED, so it's the lion's claw. That is the signature uh, lights to the Peugeot. Um, so in effect, with the front fog lights and the headlights plus the rear lights, there isn't a light bulb on this car. It is fully LED, so it's low energy, longevity, etc. Good sized boot. Um, it's a really lovely small car, but it does offer some really good space inside the boot for luggage and things like that. And uh, you can see this lovely piano gloss black finish on the detailing at the bottom because it is the GT model. All right, um, that's pretty much everything on the car. If yellow's not your colour, if Richard can just scan across a couple of uh, other options here, we've got a cumulus grey, this one here. This is the new Vertigo Blue, and we've got Palacent White. Uh, there's a colour here on this SUV which is Elixir Red, so it comes in that version as well, or black. Um, but if you go for the yellow, it would be free paint. Anyway, thanks, thanks Trevor, I'll send this over and we'll speak soon. Thank you.